Question 1. Linda and Kate baked 215 cookies all together. A third of Linda's cookies is 15 more than 4 fifths of Kate's cookies. How many cookies did Linda bake? So we're going to draw out the model sentence by sentence. Let's start with the first sentence. Linda and Kate baked 215 cookies all together. Therefore, we have two people. We have Linda. We have Kate. In total, they have 215 cookies. Moving on, so I'm done. Moving on, one third of Linda's cookies, so one third of Linda's cookies, this is a third, so they are second, two third, the, the third unit, right? So it's just one third of Linda's cookies. This is 15 more. So 15 more, 15 more than four fifth of kids' cookie. So this it's 15 more than than who? Than kids. Four fifth of kids. Alright, so this must be four out of five. So I'm gonna draw out one, two, three, four. Again, now let's read it slowly. One third of Linda's cookies is 15 more than four fifth of kids' cookie. So this is four fifth of kids' cookie. I'm going to draw in the last fifth. So this is all of kids' cookies. And if I break this up into four units, I must do the same thing, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. Okay, so let me shade it for easier comparison. Okay, and am I done with the model? Not yet. This is one third. So let me multiply it out the second third and the last. And I'm done. So let's look at this. Based on this model, Am I able to figure out what is one unit? Yes, right? Over here, I have how many units? 4, 8, 12, 12 plus 5, 17 units. 17 units is this total minus the 15, 15, 15. I say again, I just take 215, I minus 15. Minus 15, minus 15, I'll be left with 17 equal units. Hence, my first step. 17 units, 215, minus 15 times 3. That will give me 1, 7, 0. From here, I can figure out what is 1 unit. which is 170 divided by 17, which is 10. And to find the answer, how many cookies did Linda bake? Number of cookies Linda baked. Linda baked how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12 units plus the 15s. So 12 times 10, she has 12 units. Plus 15, 15, 15, that is 45. Therefore, the answer is 165. Next. Question 2. Half of Joy's savings was $20 more than Ken's savings. After Ken spent two-thirds of his savings, Joy had $190 more then Ken, how much was Joy's savings? So we're going to draw it forward. One sentence, one information at a time, all the way to the end. Starting with the first sentence, half of Joy's savings. So we have Joy and half 
of her savings. So let's say this is half of her saving. Definitely there will be another half. So half of her saving is $20 more. So $20 more than Kent. Can it's this amount here. All right, so half, this is half of a saving. It's $20 more than can. And we are done. Moving on. After Ken spent two-thirds of his savings. So this is Ken's saving. He's going to spend two-thirds. So obviously, we need to partition it into three units. And he's going to spend this two. All right, let me write it out. Spent. After Ken spent two thirds, Joy had one nine zero more than Ken. Remember, we are not done drawing Joy. This is only half, so we're gonna increase it like this. Okay, so this is the entire of Joy saving. Now, what they meant is after Joy had. Uh, after Ken spent this two third, Joy had one nine zero more. But before we go to that, let's partition it because if we break it up into three units, we must do the same for here, isn't it? So if this is three, same thing for here. Three units. And if let me do this, if Ken spent two third of his money, so this two third is gone. Joy would have 190 more than Ken. So from here to here, it's 190. From this analysis, are we able to see from here? What can we find? We can find out that one unit, two, three, four, five units. Five units is equal to. 190 minus 20 minus 20. So it's $190 minus 20 minus 20. And that will give you $150. All right, a very nice number. From here, we can figure out what is one unit, which is 150 divided by 5. That would be $30. So every unit here is 30 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, okay? Then, going on to the answer. How much was Joyce saving? So, let's write first. Joyce savings is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 units first. 6 units plus this 20 plus this 20. So, it's plus... 40 and that will give you the answer of 180 plus 40 to two zero dollars. Next question three Tan and Jay had a sum of money. Three quarter of Tan's money is equal to two fifth of Jay's money. Jay had forty nine dollars more than Tan. How much did they have all together. There are two ways to solve this. Uh, one were to be draw the model out whereby the three units of tons is equal to two units of J's. You can draw it out, extend the model and do the comparison or the shortcut is, so I'm going to teach you the trick. Whenever a question says a fraction is equal to another fraction. Step one. Change them to the same numerator, which means what is the same numerator for 3 and 2? 6, isn't it? That's the common uh, multiple, first common multiple. So 3 quarter will become 6 out of 8. 2 fifth will become 6 out of 15. All right, equivalent fraction. What happens after? They had the same numerator. We look at their denominator. So the denominator will represent their individual total, which means Tan has 8 units in total. J had 15 units in total. 
All right, this trick applies to all questions, regardless it's money, mass, or any other number of things that they can be mentioning. As long as, number one, the question states a fraction is equal to another fraction. Number two, you will make their numerator the same, all right, by changing to their own, you know, by changing to its equivalent fraction. Step three, their denominator represents their own total. Hence, tan. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to cut it out. I'm just going to do a very simple model. Tan has 8 units. J. Okay, something like this. 15 units. Okay. So, this must be the difference of $49. 7 units, the difference, right, 15 minus 8 units, though, so 7 units is equal to $49, 1 unit, 49 divided by 7 will give you $7. How much did they have all together? They have 23 units. So amount of money they had all together. Which is, this is for one unit, they have 23 in total. That would be 140 plus 21, $161. Question four, each ruler cost three times as much as a pen. Kim used a third of her money to buy five rulers and three pens. She then bought more rulers with five sixths of her remaining money. How many rulers did she buy all together? So let's start from the first sentence. Each ruler costs three times as much as a pen. It means one ruler, three units, the pen will be one unit. All right. If you were to draw the model out, you know, one ruler is just three units, and the pen drawn below it will just be a unit. Okay. Next sentence. Kim used a third of her money to buy fifteen rulers and three pens. So let's think about it. Cost of five rulers and three pence. How much money is it? We do not know in dollars value, but we do know in the number of units, in terms of units. One ruler, you know, cost three units. Five rulers will be five times three units, isn't it? Plus, what about pen? One pen cost one unit. Three pence, three units. And that will give you a total of 18 units. So 18 units can buy you 5 rulers and 3 pens. 18 units of money. And Kim used a third of her money. Which means one third of her money is equal to 18 units. So if I were to draw out the model below. You know, no one said that you can't draw the model halfway through the question, isn't it? So this is all of Kim's money. Each one is 18 units. Because this is a third of her money. She used these 18 units to buy 5 rulers and 3 pens. So 18, 18, 18. Okay, next. She then bought more rulers with 5 6 of her remaining money. This is her remaining money over here. Because she spent this, isn't it? So this is the remaining. And out of this 36 units, she used 5 6 of it. 5 out of 6 of this 36 units to buy more rulers. Hence, 
let's calculate 5 out of 6 of her remaining money is equal to 5 out of 6 of what? of 36 right? Okay, 36 here so 36 units there will be 30 units worth of money how many rulers can you buy with 30 units? Remember, one ruler costs 3 units. 30 units, well, 10 rulers. So we can go straight to the answer. Number of rulers she bought altogether. That will be equal to 30 divided by 3. That gives you 10. However, this is not the final answer because the question is asking you how many rulers did she buy all together. Remember, she bought already bought 5 at the beginning. So it's this 10 plus the earlier 5 rulers to give you 15.